50 contest semifinalists. So now it's time to meet my amazing all-star panel of judges. Would you give it up for comedian and actress Judy Gold? <laughs> Comedian and actress and announcer for The Sherry Show, Rolanda Watts. Yeah. And today's guest judge from The Office, Kate Flannery. Yeah. Okay, so ladies, I, I, I really chose y'all because I love you so much. Y'all so funny. And you're all over, you comedians who are over 50, like me. So as you've gotten older now, how's your comedy changed, Judy? Well, um, let's just say the name of my podcast is Kill Me Now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's, I'm fearless. I don't care. You get to a certain point yes. where it doesn't matter anymore. You've been through everything. No one, everything you think you, you've heard it all. You've heard it all. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. Do what you do. And, right. and it, age is just a number. That is so yeah. true. <laughs> now, Kate. How has it changed you being a comedic actress? Well, I was 40 when I got the office, and I still kept my restaurant job, and I was still doing the clubs at night the first couple years of the show, because I just didn't know what was gonna happen. Yes. So I just feel like if you, if, if you have another chapter in you, go for it. Don't let anybody else decide. Do it. Telly, life is too short. Now, Rolanda, you also found stand-up later in life, and you said that you were inspired to do stand-up because of menopause. <laughs> Yes. Wait, you know our friend Kim Cole yes. oh, had an event, her. and uh -huh. she, I had whispered to her a long time ago yeah. that I wanted to do stand-up comedy. So she was doing a big roast for herself. She was getting married, and she said, I want you as my bridesmaid to get up and do some comedy. I said, there's no way. There are all these celebrities there. Queen Latifah, Erica Alexander, yes. you, everybody. Yes. I can't do that. She said, you told me you were going to do it, and here's your opportunity. Yes. I got up on that stage. She said, I know you got five minutes of funny. Uh -huh. I got up there, and I started ranting about menopause because my body was <laughs> defying me. Your body was defying me. I, I had just done an, a network meeting and bust out in a sweat under my wig. I could have hydrated an entire village in Africa with all the water. I left a wet spot on the couch. I said, oh, now, a whole new yeah. meaning to the name wet spot. <laughs> <laughs> It was horrible, it, but, but but it but you know I ranted and people back then weren't even talking about menopause. They weren't, and I was well into my fifties. Yes, and I tell you they were on the floor, and this woman in her seventies was sitting on the front row, and she said, "Keep going, you're bringing women together to turn." Ple pain into and pleasure. pleasure. What it is. You know, but really. And y'all all know, we know this, that stand-up comedy can be a very lonely road. Some of us are lucky to find somebody that can take us under their wing. Uh, Judy, your mentor was, I, and I loved her so much, Joan Rivers. Joan was Rivers, mentor. yeah. Oh, she... <laughs> Sherry, I, I'm so glad you brought up this idea of mentors because... Yes. I don't think people realize women comics like mm -hmm. us never got to work together on the road. Never. Ever. Because if they had a woman on the show, it was one. It was one. Um, and they set it up that we would be so competitive with one another yeah. that there's one spot, who's going to get it? Joan Rivers, by the way, who I've known since I can talk. Uh -huh. I knew who she was. And I thought, and I remember watching her on TV with my parents, and we all thought she was funny. Yeah. Um, and I remember watching her with Johnny Carson. I'm thinking, here's this loud Jewish woman telling the truth yeah. <laughs> to this white guy from Nebraska. <laughs> and he thinks she's the most hilarious thing in the world. And it gave me permission to dream. Yes. And she was, she was amazing and gave me so much good advice. And the one yeah. thing she told me, and I say this all the time, when, when I got let go from The View and I said, I don't know if I'm going to work, she said, I promise you, funny girls always work. Yep. That's what Joan Rivers said. <laughs> and we talk. And we, we can. <laughs> now, Kate, did you have a mentor coming up? You know, I have to say, TV was my mentor. Yes. So I would watch Carol Burnett. I still do. Carol oh. Burnett. Um, I, of course, Lu Lucy, any form of uh, Lucy, all ages, because she worked until, I mean, she, yes. she did it. And Catherine O'Hara, of course, yes. from SCTV. Oh. I mean, these guys, they were fearless, and I realized that if you have a character and if you are committed to what you're doing, you can do anything. Just don't give up on yourself. And just commit, I'm telling you. Yeah. Rolanda, do you have any mentors coming up? 
love people like you. <laughs> and, and you know, the hot folks in Hollywood who took me under their wing. David Arnold was yes. one of my first teachers. Oh, I and, love him. Yes, and all David of that. Arnold. But, you know, I also like Moms Mabley. Oh, I yeah. love You know, her. people who the stood past. out like that. I loved it when she, she said something like, the only thing an old man can do for me is bring me a young one. <laughs> <laughs> So these two ladies, Gina Nicole and Deborah Terry, they didn't have anybody to guide them in their careers. So I called Tammy Pescatelli, one of the funniest stand-up comedians that I know, to mentor them. Take a look. Thank you for the honor of allowing me to be your mentor. Deborah has a really unique hook, and I think that people will remember her, whether they know her name or not, they'll go, remember that lady? If you only got one time to be on that stage, what would you want people to see? We get one shot, don't save it. Get to the next level and then bring it. This is amazing. I mean, it's, it's making me write more material, which is always a good thing. Sometimes you just need a little push in the right direction of someone who's actually been there. I try to write my act as if we're all friends and I just haven't seen you for a long time. And I feel like you're that. You're gonna walk out and they're gonna go, I know that girl. I'm like, hey, can we talk? about getting older, I'm 57. And it's like right out the gate, you know who I am, sort of, and you're like, okay, she's she's in that world. Gina just had the jokes, the enthusiasm, and she was ready to go. I'm very excited that I got to meet you. Thank you for allowing me to be your mentor, and thank you for being my mentee, and break a leg. All right, y'all. So, it is almost time for Gina Nicole and Deborah Terry to perform. So, Judy, what is your best tip? For, for Gina, Nicole, and Deborah Terry? Well, I think get out of your head. Yes. Just do it. You got this. Mm. You got this. You know what you're about to do. You've done it a million, a thousand times before. Just go for it. Relax. Okay. And Rolanda, what about you? Just believe in yourself and have fun. Yes. You know, fun, fun as you well yeah. know, fun is the basic of everything. Yes. Believe in yourself and have fun. All right. And Kate? Well, I'm going to say I, be in the moment. If anything goes wrong, it's a gift. It, yes. It's, there are no accidents. Just, you know, sometimes it's even better when something goes wrong. Just stay in it. Stay in it. We Just drive the bus. We're on the bus. We're on the bus. We're going to keep driving. Put your hands up.